In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the awesome new MMO, and that's going to be Throne and Liberty. This game has been out for a while over in the East, but over here, it's only just released with early access. I'm going to be going over your skill specialization, what exactly it all amounts to, and why you may want to wait until you're about level 15 before you decide exactly what kind of weapons you're going to be maining in order to make the perfect build for yourself. Now, if we quickly jump over to the skills menu, obviously you're going to start off and you're going to have your weapon skills, whatever weapon you enjoy playing with or you find the best, you can be able to allocate them, put them onto your bar in order to make a nice build for yourself and how you like your playstyle. Skill specialization is slightly different and it unlocks at level 15. What this basically means is you'll be able to do an additional thing with those skills, powering them up, boosting their performance and sometimes changing them in some slight variation in order to get them more powerful overall. For example, if you look at this, we've got Valiant Brawl, you can change the damage on this, you can put the ag you can make it so it gives you a little bit more aggro or you can boost its performance with Cruel Smite just over here on the left. Each one of your skills is going to have different amounts of these, so have a little look. Some will be able to be boosted a little bit more, with the highest one I've seen being 5 overall. Some of these skills work absolutely amazing and hand in hand with each other. For example, if we go over to Stunning Blow just here, and then give it the damaged increase, this is going to be the next skill that we actually use. It's going to get a nice little buff to it of 150%, making it hit like an absolute monster. Then we're going to go over to Death Blow. This already hits hard. Instead, we're going to give it a charged attack, makes it do more damage. And as you saw earlier, we can make it so it goes after the first skill to do a whole lot more damage overall entirely. Then going on to our secondary weapon, we're going to have a little look at Nature's Blessing. And again, we're going to give this a little enhance to make our group that we're in and ourselves a little bit more durable during those tanky fights. Now, if we jump out into the field and tackle one of these pesky goblins, give it a little tap with our first, that's going to give it the buff, then we're going to go in with our second skill and absolutely nuke it to pieces. Obviously, some things work hand in hand a lot better than others, so depending on what you're going for, you may have a completely different playstyle if you're going for a big area effect rather than that single target like I was. I would highly recommend checking out all of the skills and their upgrades for deciding which kind of main weapons you'll be focusing on for your character. Also, as you can see here, even though we just done the last one, nah, once you've got a few more skill points ready to spend, you'll be able to upgrade these and you can pretty much unlock all of the nodes, making it a truly powerful skill overall. Now this can be absolutely amazing if you're trying to focus on a few skills that you really want to boost up in power, and if we jump back to a bit of combat, you'll see even with a few of these little upgrades, now nah, we're going to hit even harder, making this skill an absolute nuke, especially very early on in the game, when I'm still using the first green weapon I've bought. Now, one of the main things I love about this is the fact that you can respect this on the fly. It doesn't take any currency, it doesn't take anything additional in order to do this. And in fact, anytime you want to respect these skills out, change them around a bit, you can do it very easily. Either from the convert consume points down the bottom here, or just go up to the top and refund them all just at this point. Honestly, though, I would highly recommend as soon as this feature opens up for you at 15, Go through them all, have a little look, see what takes your fancy, and it may change your complete playstyle or make you put a different weapon into your primary or secondary, allowing everyone to create their own unique playstyle. The only thing you do need to be a little bit mindful of, even though I did say you can upgrade pretty much everything, there are on some of these skills slightly unique features, so whenever you see this red wording, it usually means that you can only have one of the specification on, in order to kind of make the skill a little bit defined. This one will obviously turn it into a frost feature, so if you think that fits your build better, that's absolutely ideal. Or if you bop down, you're going to give yourself a little bit of extra defense. Overall, as soon as you hit 15, you'll be able to get yourself 10 skill points available to spend, then two more specialization points every single time you level up, up until level 30. Then from then onwards, you'll get three specialization points all up to level 50. I believe giving you an overall tally of 100 specialization points to spend in all. All of this, hopefully, will help you make an absolutely awesome, fun character to play with. One that you can make very personalised, especially when you start linking everything together, both slots of your actual weapons. As you start to get more points, your character will become more rounded and become very, very powerful overall. Hopefully, this will help you to hit like a truck, have a lot of fun in the process, and unlike me, you won't try to back off from a fight and get stuck in the terrain. Because unfortunately, nothing will help you to beat an enemy when you're glitched in the kind of scenery. But yeah, hopefully this has helped a few of you guys and girls. There's going to be loads of fun and liberty on the way from me. I'm really enjoying the game now that I can actually play and I'm not getting logged out every 20 seconds because of the server issues. As always, Full Things Gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.